Welcome to Guns, Optics, and Reloading. My name is Brian, and today we're going to be installing another muzzle brake by Control Solutions. This one's called the Hex Mod CWES Gen 2. Really cool muzzle brake. It uses a double threaded sleeve so that you can actually use the muzzle brake as a jam nut. So it gives you the gunsmithed look without a jam nut, and that muzzle brake is butted right up against your barrel. Really cool. I'm going to be installing it on a 300 Blackout Up where I've got because the barrel is a little bit smaller than what it needs to be, but it allows me to show you what it does and how it installs. You're really going to want one. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're going to install the Hex Mod CWES Gen 2 muzzle brake. Um, I'm putting it on my 300 Blackout Upper here, but I'm doing it this way just so we can see how it, the index it and get it on there the correct way um, it is a little bit tricky at first but uh, I think once you see this I think you'll understand how to install it a little bit better generally you know if we're using the if we're doing like a for instance an AR style you know we'd be using the crush washer and uh, here's another little muzzle brake this is their uh, this is the uh, control uh, this is their three gun model by the way they sent me one of these over too so but so essentially we would put that on there, we'd spin that, we'd crush that washer down to get that level and it'd be perfect. Well, the way this one sits, let me just go ahead and show you that real quick. This one screws down and then we index this against this nut. So basically we can get that perfectly set on this barrel without any crush washer. So that's how we're going to do it. It actually uses the muzzle brake to uh, up to the it shoulders onto the barrel. So it actually uses the muzzle brake as your jam nut. So it's pretty cool. It's a good feature. But anyways, so we're going to do this on a 300 blackout. I'm using this barrel so that you guys can see how uh, it goes down. So a couple little instructions. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure your weapon is unloaded. Obviously, this is an AR upper. You can't see everything because I've got it sitting in a vise, so you can just see the threads. But it is unloaded. Uh, I've obviously already taken off the thread protector or muzzle brake, whatever was on here first. And so uh, the next step is we want to go ahead and make sure we get a little oil on this and clean this with a brush. I've already got a little oil on here, so we're just going to clean off these threads here real quick. Make sure that's real good and clean. Let me grab my little rag here. So we're just going to get all the junk out of the threads. Make sure that's good to go. Okay, so that's clean. All right, so. Now what we want to do is we're going to thread this completely on. Now, this comes in the two pieces. So see how this unscrews? I'm just going to unscrew this all the way and put this on first. Just because I found in playing around with it, uh, it's a little easier. Um, so see what happens is you thread this on here like this. Okay, and you just snug it down. Don't do it tight for right now. We're just snugging. We're just doing some testing. And then this muzzle, the brake itself, screws on to that. Shoulders up against the barrel. Again, it, 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 you're supposed to put it on a bigger barrel gun, but this is all I have for right now because my buddy is actually out shooting his match rifle today, so I didn't have a big barrel rifle. So, once we screw this all the way down, Okay, so it sits. So you can see this is the top of the brake and this is the top. So we're off about a half. So we need this brake to be sitting here. That's why that's why we put this on here. We don't snug it down with a wrench. We don't do anything first try. We're just doing it hand tight so that we can kind of check to see where the fit is. So we can already see we're about yeah, we're about a quarter turn off. All right, so what we need to do is unscrew the brake. Now here is the problem. Now notice when I'm unscrewing this brake now, see how this nut's coming with it? We don't want that to happen. Because you want this to sit. Because we want to, we want to basically adjust this nut there. So what uh, Jeremy recommends in the instructions is use a little bit of Teflon tape. So that when you screw this on, this doesn't move. You can do it with your hand, but the, when you turn this, it's not going to undo it. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take 
just a little smidge of uh, I'm using some plumber's tape and uh, we're just gonna put a little thread of this on here real quick you don't need a lot you just need enough to make sure that muzzle or the uh, sorry the it's hard to talk and do things at the same time sometimes so you don't want that nut to spin by itself you want to be in control of that uh, uh, the, the nut sorry all right so I'm just going to put that on there make sure that's nice and tight all right so we got some Teflon tape so make sure that we want to put this nice little shouldered piece towards the gun so we're just going to thread that on there and see now that's a little tighter so now that's not going to be spinning freely so what I'm going to do just so I can show you I'm going to take a sharpie and I'm going to mark this with a silver mark I put a little mark on it so we know that we need to do about a quarter of a turn on that muzzle so what we need to do is we need to unscrew this oh it's hard to it says in the instructions, uh, basically three quarters of a turn on this will be a quarter of a turn on the brake. So we know that we need about a quarter of a turn on the brake. So we're just going to loosen that. So that's index. So there's a half a turn, three quarters of a turn. I'm going to go just a smidge less than three quarters. All right. So now we're going three quarters of a turn. So, this is how we're going to index it so that we snug up this thing on here. So, now I'm going to take this, and we're going to just screw this back on. And notice how that nut's not turning now. You can kind of see how that thing's just sitting right on there, which is how we want it. And so now, this is going to snug itself right there on the barrel so now this becomes a jam nut and as you can see that just hit bottom and it's tight okay so we're just a little bit off just a smidge so now we want to back this out again and notice now that nut's not turning it's sitting right there on the bottom which is what we want it to do so we need a little bit less so so we want to basically go back we were here at three quarters so I'm gonna go about a half a turn the other direction all right so once you get everything on there you're good to go uh, again make sure you, you don't want to put too much Teflon tape on there but uh, once you get it all there index on there right and it snugs down perfectly and you can check your level make sure everything's good get it all done and now you're ready to go check your zero and your point of impact see if that changes anything which you should be pretty good uh, you know and again make sure you wear eye and ear protection when you shoot with these things don't get too close to the brake you know muzzle blast the whole nine yards uh, actually if you watch one of my other videos where I um, test these brakes out uh, check it out on my YouTube channel you can see the muzzle blast actually shakes the camera and I was about a yard away and uh, it's pretty impressive it's pretty awesome but anyway that is how you install the hex mod CWES Gen 2 and uh, you definitely want to get these muzzle brakes that work great uh, like I said I've got some other videos with these control brakes and I love them and uh, the company and the owner are great guys to work with and uh, great muzzle brakes. That's how you install the Control Solutions Hex Mod CWES Gen 2 muzzle brake. Really cool muzzle brake. I can't wait to get out to the range and shoot it some, try it out. I'm sure it's going to work great. I've got Control Solutions muzzle brakes on a few of my rifles and they work great. So go to their website down here. It's linked. You see it right here. Go to their website, pick up one, makes your gun look cool, and it works great. So go get one.